Hey there, it's Kevin Kennedy, and welcome to episode number two of Fusion Fridays. By the end of this video, you'll know how to insert a decal or sticker onto the face of your 3D model. For this demo, I'm going to use the whiskey bottle from day number four of Learn Fusion 360 in 30 days. I'll put a link to that as well as the decals in the description below. The first thing we'll want to do is make sure that we're in the render workspace. If not, I can simply select render from the workspace dropdown list. Now I'll select decal from the setup dropdown menu, or I can click on the decal shortcut right here. After activating the decal feature, I'll need to select the face of my model and then I'll select the image from my computer. Now the first decal I have here is intended to wrap around. So it's a little bit small, but I can take this outside handle here and drag away to increase the size. And if I drag in, it will decrease the size. Now once I find the size I like, I can click and hold on the square in the middle which will allow me to freely change the position of the decal. I can also use the arrows to move the decal on the X or Y axis, or this outside slider to change the rotation. You'll also see these little icons here, which allow me to flip the decal in both directions. In the decal dialog box, you can also change the opacity of the image by dragging the slider. But I want this sticker to be solid, so I'll leave it at 100% and I'll click OK to exit. Now if I take a look at this sticker from the side, I'll notice that it doesn't wrap around quite as far as I'd like to. I can edit the decal by right clicking on it and selecting Edit Decal. I'll just go ahead and make it larger and then I'll reposition it and click OK. Now if I take a look at it from the side, I'll see that it wraps around even further. If we take a look at one of the last options in the decal dialog box, we'll see chain faces. And this seems to confuse a lot of Fusion 360 users. So I'll take a moment to explain it here. So when we first selected our face of the bottle, it's selected as one large face due to the fact that we created this with the loft command. Therefore, you'll see that the label will wrap around the bottle whether or not we have chain faces selected. In some scenarios, you may or may not want your decal to wrap onto different faces. So if I drag this decal down to the bottom and unselect chain faces, you'll see that it doesn't wrap onto the bottom face here, which is a different face than the front of our bottle. But if I turn on the chain faces checkbox, you'll notice that it automatically wraps the label onto this bottom face that the decal overflows to. Now the last thing to note with this is that if I selected multiple faces and not just the body of the bottle, then the label will automatically work on those faces whether chain faces is on or not. Now I'm going to delete this decal by selecting it and hitting the delete key on my keyboard, and I'll insert the other decal that's not intended to wrap around the bottle. So once again, I'll activate the decal feature, select the face of my bottle, and select the image from my desktop. Lastly, I'll want to render this image to see what it looks like by clicking Render, and then I'll click the green Render button. Now the render may take a minute, and it depends on whether you do it locally or in the Fusion 360 cloud. You'll see here that I can take a look at my render after it's completed. Thanks for watching. Be sure to ask your questions in the comments below. Hit the thumbs up icon if you learned something in this video and click subscribe followed by that little bell icon to be notified of more Fusion 360 tutorials.